Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Sam and we finally got our hands on the brand new Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. So today we are going to compare Oppo's Find X3 Pro with Xiaomi's Mi 11 Ultra. We are comparing both phones in terms of display, performance, camera design and battery. So stay tuned and find out which phone is in our opinion the better phone. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start straight away with our review. Let the facts speak. Display. The Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra features a 6.81 inch two color display with a 1440p Quad HD resolution. It uses an AMOLED screen which creates very natural colors. The Mi 11 Ultra therefore measures 17.29 cm diagonally with a pixel density of 515 ppi. The display also has an adaptable 120Hz refresh rate, a peak brightness of 1700 nits and features Dolby Vision. Looks like very well rounded display with impressive numbers. Let's have a look at Oppo's now. The Oppo Find X3 Pro has a 6.7 inch display which measures 17.02 cm diagonally and has a resolution of 1440p. Its AMOLED screen creates very natural colors and has a pixel density of 525 ppi. It features a refresh rate of 120Hz and a peak brightness of 1300 nits. While they certainly have some similarities the Find X3 Pro has an advantage in terms of pixel density. The Mi 11 Ultra on the other hand has a bigger screen, is a lot brighter and features Dolby Vision. Besides that it also has an increased durability thanks to Gorilla Glass Victus, while its competitor only features Gorilla Glass 5. All in all the Mi 11 Ultra has an impressive screen, which should be one of the best on the market right now and therefore deserves to take home the point. Camera. The Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is equipped with a triple rear camera setup, featuring a 50 megapixel wide angle, a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle, and a 48 megapixel telephoto camera. Its front camera has a resolution of 20 megapixel. The Mi 11 Ultra records 8K videos at a maximum of 24 frames per second, and of course features optical image stabilization. That huge camera bump has got to be there for a reason. Let's take a look at the way smaller camera system in Oppo's phone. The Oppo Find X3 Pro has a quad rear camera system. It features a 50 megapixel wide angle, a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle, a 13 megapixel telephoto and a 3 megapixel micro lens camera. Its front camera has a resolution of 32 megapixel. The X3 Pro records 4K videos at a maximum of 60 frames per second. And of course it has optical image stabilization. Both phones have good camera systems, but which one is actually the better system? Let's take it to our camera test and let's find out which one does a better job. Our camera comparison starts always with the pictures taken in daylight conditions. At first sight there's no big difference except that the plant in Oppo's picture looks a bit sharper. Overall they look pretty similar, but zoomed in there's definitely a difference. Xiaomi looks way sharper whereas you'll notice grain and image compressions on Oppo's side. But let's take a look at the plant again. Yep, the plant looks sharper in Oppo's picture. But we don't see it as a negative point for Xiaomi, since that has something to do with the focal length. The plant is just closer and the focus was set on the shard. In nighttime conditions the Mi 11 Ultra appears a bit brighter, but at first sight similar sharp. So let's crop in to see how that looks like. Well, Oppo's image is a total pixel battleground. The Xiaomi on the other hand still appears relatively sharp, but loses a lot of contrast. Still, it looks better. And even though the plant isn't sharp, it looks definitely more natural on Xiaomi's side, as the total compression feel in Oppo's image. In terms of the selfie camera, we'd say they look pretty similar. Except that Oppo might be a tiny bit sharper and Xiaomi's is better saturated. The Find X3 Pro has a 5 fold hybrid optical zoom and a 20 fold digital zoom. On the other hand, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra has a 5 fold optical, a 10 fold hybrid and an incredible high 120 fold digital zoom. The usefulness is still questionable. Okay, so far so good. Now let's switch from photo feature to the video feature to find out which of these two phones takes better videos. What you can see and here is the quality of the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra's video recording. We set it to the highest possible quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. What you can see and hear is the quality of Oppo Find X3 Pro's video recording. We set it to the highest possible quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. Okay, the sound quality is okay with both, but the Oppo has less background noise and therefore comes across a little clearer. In terms of video quality, Xiaomi has better color rendering, its saturation looks better compared to the less saturated image of the Oppo. We couldn't spot a significant difference in terms of sharpness. So let's crop in a bit in post to see if the 8K on the Mi 11 Ultra compared to the 4K on the Find X3 Pro can change that. 
Two times zoomed in, the AK definitely makes a difference. The Mi 11 Ultra comes in sharper than its competitor. At 10 times zoomed in, the Xiaomi doesn't look good, but still better than Oppo. When it comes to slow motion videos, the Oppo falls behind Xiaomi. It is able to shoot 240 frames per second in 1080p and 480 frames per second in 720p, but the Mi 11 Ultra throws a knockout punch at the Oppo with its 1920 frames per second in 1080p. Well, Oppo's Find X3 Pro has a great camera system. It performed pretty well in this comparison. But Xiaomi's huge camera bump has definitely got a reason. It outperformed the Find X3 Pro in terms of daylight when taking a closer look and definitely in terms of nighttime pictures. The high resolution and better color rendering in the video feature was also a plus for the Mi 11 Ultra that all got crowned by the incredible slow motion feature. I left out the extremely high zoom because I still don't see the need for it. It is also better here. Point therefore goes clearly to the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. Performance. The X3 Pro is equipped with Qualcomm's latest chip, the Snapdragon 888. The phone has 12GB RAM and a storage capacity of 256GB. The storage capacity unfortunately cannot be expanded. The new Snapdragon 888 on its own is almost a guarantee for good performance. Let's have a look at what the Mi 11 Ultra has got to offer. The Mi 11 Ultra uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chip with the power efficient 5nm process technology. It offers 12GB RAM and has a storage capacity of 256GB. The storage capacity unfortunately cannot be expanded. Since almost every flagship phone in 2021 features the latest Snapdragon 888, this is again a better between siblings. Both also have the same raw power. Is the Oppo going to stand a chance? Let's bring them into the N22 benchmark, the Geekbench 5 test and the 3D Mark test and find out. The Antutu benchmark is benchmarking the performance of both phones. The tests are divided in three phases. A performance test of the RAM, a test how the device is handling two-dimensional graphics and an endurance test of how the device is handling 3D graphics. The winner in the first test is the Mi 11 Ultra. Next up, the Geekbench 5 test. The second test is from Geekbench. This app will measure the performance of our smartphones in terms of CPU and GPU. Wow, okay, in single and multi-core, the Oppo came in stronger than Xiaomi. Now, the last test. And the third test is the 3D Mark Wildlife, which is a cross-platform benchmark for comparing the graphics performance of the devices. Well, 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 the third test was also decided in favor of Oppo, which makes the Oppo Find X3 Pro the more powerful phone in this comparison, as it also won the Geekbench 5 test. The Find X3 Pro therefore takes home the point. Design. The Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is not just a name, it's a model. The phone has Gorilla Glass Victus in the front, a ceramic backside and everything is framed by aluminium. The camera bump is situated at the top of the backside and it is eye-catchingly huge. The reason for this are the three pretty big camera lenses and a 1.1 inch secondary screen. Its main purpose is to function as a notification display to show time and battery status, even when the phone is upside down. It also works as a screen for taking better selfies and music controller. The smartphone weighs 234 gram, it has a USB-C connector at the bottom and if you are an acoustic junkie, Xiaomi has got you covered on another end though. Its dual speakers are manufactured by the experts of Harman Kardon. The phone also uses an in-screen fingerprint sensor and AI face recognition technology to unlock the phone. And unlike the base version, the Mi 11 Ultra is also IP68 water and dust resistant. Well, it's different, but let's take a look at how different the Mi 11 Ultra looks compared to the usual smartphone designs. The Oppo Find X3 Pro has an aluminum frame and a glass finish on the back. This version has a shiny metallic finish, but there is also a matte blue one available. It features a very futuristic design with a triangular lens camera bump in the upper left corner on the back of the phone. The smartphone weighs 193 gram. It features a USB-C connector and is IP68 rated. That means that it is water and dust resistant. The phone also uses face recognition technology and a fingerprint sensor to unlock the phone. Both technologies work great. As a special feature for sound enthusiasts, the X3 Pro's alarms and ringtones are custom designed by famous producer Hans Zimmer. Well, yep, we got two different phone designs. A futuristic spacey but clean design on the Oppo and, well, a totally different camera bump design on the Xiaomi. The Mi 11 Ultra's bump is freaking huge. But it contains something that no other smartphone at the moment has 
and that is the little back display. And because it fills out the upper part of the back and not only a corner, it doesn't wobble when laying on a flat surface. Overall, both phones feel pretty valuable, despite the fact that Oppo has Gorilla Glass on the front and the back and Xiaomi only on the front. But it has a ceramic back, which is also not bad. At the end, we have two different kinds of phones for different kinds of needs, I would say. If you ask us, we tend to go more for the slimmer body. So we give this point to the Oppo Find 3 Pro. Battery. The Oppo Find 3 Pro has 4500 mAh. On the other hand, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra has 5000 mAh. Both phones feature incredible fast charging capabilities of 67W on Xiaomi side and 65W on Oppo side. In terms of wireless charging, the Find 3 Pro offers 30W, while the 11 Ultra again features 67W. Both devices offer reverse wireless charging. The Mi 11 Ultra has the bigger battery and should therefore have the upper hand. So this was a really close one. Even though the Mi 11 Ultra has a way bigger battery, it does not seem to be enough to satisfy its energy-hungry hardware. On the other hand, in terms of charging capabilities, it is the Xiaomi that has the better arguments, especially concerning wireless charging, where it is twice as fast as the Find X3 Pro. Overall, this seems more like a draw to us, so both get a point. Conclusion Phew, that was again a back and forth. Let us find out now which device got more points in this comparison. As usual, we do that by going through all the categories one more time. We started off with the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra winning the first point for its overall better display. Then we put the device through three different benchmark tests. Two of them won the Oppo Find 3 Pro, which means it got the point in the performance category. The huge camera bump on Xiaomi's phone came in with better results in the camera system comparison. The still decent Oppo had to hand over the point to the Mi 11 Ultra. The design category was once again a tricky one. In the end, we decided to let the Find 3 Pro get the point since we prefer the slimmer body. By the way, let us know in the comments below which one you like more in terms of design. That brings us to the deciding point. Which phone is lasting longer? Well, the Oppo did last roughly 30 minutes longer. But Xiaomi's incredible charging capability led to a draw in this category. So yep, we have 3 points on each side. That means we have also an overall draw in this video comparison. Naturally, we review more than these 5 categories covered here. If you want to see the full comparison, follow the link to our website. You can compare up to 7 different smartphones at versus.com. But before you do that, please post your comments and let us know which phone you think ranks first. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care and see you soon.